A common question type in the IELTS reading test is the short answer question. So, what does this type of question involve? Let's take a look at an example. With short answer questions, you need to read a part of a reading passage and answer using one, two or three words. In this example, the instructions tell you to write no more than three words. Don't go over this word limit. You should only use words taken from the reading passage, exactly as they are in the reading passage. You must spell the answer correctly and write the answer in the correct place on the answer sheet, like this. And make sure that you follow the instructions and don't go over the word limit. So let's recap what we know about the short answer question format. As the name suggests, in this task, you have to answer comprehension questions based on the text. The required answers are quite short, up to three words and or a number. Check the instructions to see exactly how many you can write. Once you've found the answers, you write them on the answer sheet, being careful to spell the answer correctly. Let's look at the example task again. The text is about antimatter, a concept in physics. Look at the first question. Who first predicted antimatter? What are the key words? Well, who is important because it tells us what type of information to look for. And first is important too. And so is predicted. So now let's try to find the answer in the text. The questions are in text order, so we are expecting to find the answer to this first question near the beginning of the text. So here in the text, we can see here some words that are the same or similar to the key words in the question. First and possibility. And we can see the name of a person, Paul Dirac. So the answer is Paul Dirac. That's two words, which is under the word limit. And I've copied the name accurately from the question paper. So that answer is correct. So now that I have described how to do short answer questions to you, why don't you take some time to read over this summary? Then I'm sure you're ready to do some practice to help you build some more skills around answering these questions.